first, let's find out everything there is to know about the weather. Mr. Back. We're going to try and cram everything into this next two minutes. I'm going to start out with the air quality issue again because that's really the number one yeah. item when it comes to how is the weather, how is the atmosphere around us impacting our lives. We don't have any other significant aspects to the weather. But the smoke is getting into every neighborhood. So San Jose, it's a live picture right now, and you've got some of the worst of it. Just to go back today to show you the behavior on the fire, that complex that's burning down here, the SCU complex, we're going to come in for a close-up look. You see the plume of smoke right there? And I'm going to stop it at 1.55 in the afternoon, and you're going to see that white dot right in the middle. That is the beginnings of a cumulo of a, of a fire cloud that starts to build as you get into the center of these things. A pyrocumulus cloud only happens where you start to get into the most intense heat. That one didn't get too big. But the fact that it was there at all tells us this fire still has a lot of material to work with. It got very hot today, and look at the smoke all getting blown off your way. So if you look at the air quality sensors, we're back into the unhealthy category for many locations here throughout the Santa Clara Valley. You start to work your way up the peninsula, it gets a little bit better as you get far enough away. But if we look ahead at the forecast for the next few days, it doesn't look good. Certainly not through Monday. And then maybe into Tuesday and Wednesday there's some hope, but it's very difficult to forecast air quality when it comes to wildfire smoke with much accuracy. But we can certainly tell you what's going on right now. That's the Tri Valley. And you're also getting smoke from the SCU complex. It's to your south, so it's not blowing directly your way right now, but it's drifting and it's trapped. The kind of pattern that we're in right now, weather wise, the bigger weather picture, is not letting the smoke escape. It's just holding it all here. So we keep recycling it every day. There's not a strong enough onshore flow through enough layers of the atmosphere to clear it out. Thankfully, we're not looking at a heat wave. And you can see where the marine layer is now. There's just a little of it off the coast. And it's going to build back in again in the overnight hours. This is good news. That's a little more humidity. We do get some of that down towards the Santa Clara Valley and up to San Jose. But it's not high enough to get onto those hills where the fires are burning. Those hills are above the marine layer, which means as gray and damp as it gets down here in the overnight hours it does not mean a thing on the front lines of those fires. They're staying just as dry. That's your classic microclimate, and it's not helping in terms of the fire, even if it is bringing humidity down here where we all live. Morning lows in the mid and upper 50s. Daytime highs tomorrow should be pretty much exactly where they were today. Mid to upper 80s if you're inland. Low to mid 70s for the bay. Here's the story for much of this next coming week. The red bullseye over us. When you look at the six to 10 day outlook, tells you the degree of confidence that temperatures are going to be above average for that period. The deeper the red, the higher the confidence. And if you look at a seven-day forecast, you'll see those numbers start climbing into the mid and upper 70s as we get towards the end of this next coming week. So it's going to stay hot around here. It's not like heat wave hot, but it's still eight or so degrees above average and dry, not what we wanted. 